Distracted driving could be any activity that takes away from the attention of driving. This could be talking or texting on the phone, eating, talking to people in the car, or just getting directions from an app. Head south on South 2nd Avenue. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, any non-driving activity you engage in is a potential distraction and increases your risk of crashing. Now, we have been seeing more collisions due to distracted driving. We know that people use it and use it at intersections as well. It is leading to collisions, we know as a fact. In 2019, over 3,000 people were killed in the United States because of distracted driving, according to the U.S. Department of Transportation. So anytime you take your eyes off the roadway, it's bad because that's not gonna give you enough time to apply a brakes or stop in time. Um, so that's why we suggest just putting it away, that way you're not even tempted to use it. 30% of crash fatalities in Washington are due to distracted driving. So next time you get in your vehicle, make sure you put your phone down before you start your car. I think I'm ready. Another thing to remember in Washington's cell phone laws, which went into effect in June of 2010, if police see you holding your cell phone or texting while driving, they can pull you over and issue a ticket. Also, passengers can help inside your vehicle. Uh, if you're riding with someone and they're driving and using their cell phone, just say, hey, do a friendly reminder. Do you mind putting that away? Or can I take the phone call? Or can I text for you? Uh, because it is dangerous for everyone else inside the vehicle as well. In the state of Washington, you can use your cell phone if you are hands-free, out of the flow of traffic, parked, or contacting emergency services. Other than that, you have to put your cell phone down before you go. In Yakima for NBC right now, I'm Sophia Lesios.